Mass is definitely going to come and take this. I'm allowed to cheat too and shoot one of the icons here. But there's a few tricks I know about it that I'm not going to tell him about. No, nah, he's... Nigel, that's cheating! So I'm sabotaging Mass's shot here. Morning, everybody. Fantastic to see you all again. So today we've got a challenge. We're in Rydalwater. It is Mass's last day and he's got a plane to catch quite shortly. So we've got one hour to take some photos and we're gonna have a challenge, see what we can get. You ready? Yep. Three, two, one. Jesus. <laughs> okay, the advantage I've got is I know the area and Mass doesn't. So I'm gonna try and lose him and hopefully he'll get lost, find no photos and um, I'll win. Right, I think I've lost Mass. Hopefully he's gonna go that way. I'm gonna go through this gate and um, I know there's some good compositions down here. So fingers crossed, let's see what we can get. We're just passing this tree and it's absolutely ridiculous. Actually that might make a composition, mightn't it? Right, I haven't got much time so I've gotta get a little bit creative here. This tree is really cool and I think just like a vertical composition here, a bit of an abstract thing. I don't think it's going to be the sort of thing that James and Mass get. So hopefully this will be pretty good. So I'm going to take this vertically and then I'm going to get going. So this fallen down tree looked fantastic. I like the shot here, but I would have liked more time just to get a slightly better composition. And also, I don't think the light is as good as it could be. It'd be good to have some nice warm reflected light on the textures here. This is the classic shot. Mass is definitely going to come and take this. But there's a few tricks I know about it that I'm not going to tell him about. And there's a better composition way further down there when it's like this, the conditions. So I'm going to go down there. He's not going to know where I've gone and I'm not going to take it from here. The other thing I've got to be aware of is that any woodland shots, the leaves are moving quite a lot. So I've just got to be super, super careful with my shutter speed. But I've got to win this comp competition haven't I? Like I live here. I can't let Mass win it. No way. So I really like those clouds up there and there's just a couple of houses and them fell in the background. I don't think it's amazing but um, I'm going to shoot it because I think it's it's worth it and in fact I'm probably going to do it in a vertical orientation so I get a little bit of the reflection in the water as well which I think looks quite nice. Okay, so I'm handicapped because I can't go low, but what I'm trying to do with my camera is go as low as I can and try and get what is really, really small ripples, making them look like a little bit bigger waves. So you can see down there. Okay. We could do a bit of light on the, on the fells, but I've just shot this scene here. It's a bit obvious. Um, I'm heading a little bit further up there and I'm gonna shoot back in that direction. I mean, ideally we'll be doing this at sunset because this direction where the clouds are light lit up is better at the moment, but gotta keep going. Right, I've got to the shot that I want to take and I have to admit, I'm cheating a little bit here because this is inspired by one of the masterclass members and he posted something on the Facebook group and we have like a challenge every week and people post stuff and, and we select the best one. This was what I thought was the best one. I'll show you his photo, which is way better than mine because he had amazing conditions. Stephen, thank you very much for this. So we've got the scene here with the brick wall, the oak tree on the right hand side and the hut in the background. Um, there's these trees here that are a little bit distracting and the trees all along the right hand side are a bit distracting but it still makes a nice scene. I've moved a little bit to the side of the path to create a little bit of a diagonal which I think is okay. I've got to be careful of shutter speed and um, yeah I think the light's nice on the tree because we're getting a little bit of glow from over there. Steve's shot here just shows how important it is to have time to get that composition. I rushed it and 
I didn't really get it as tight as I wanted it to. The tree on the right hand side doesn't work really. The other thing is that the conditions are obviously significantly better in Steve's shot. He has you know, low wind, which means he's got reflection, which I think works so much better because I think the water ripples on my shot are really distracting. I could have tried a polarizing filter just to reduce some of those reflections, but I'm not sure that would have worked. But I think the just whole atmosphere and mist in Steve's shot really stand out. Okay, I've got a secret trick. Drone. Gets me different locations and I can get some shots. Hopefully they're a little bit different. I'm sure the mass has thought exactly the same thing. Um, I can't find him anywhere though, so I don't know where he's gone. Uh, he might be back at the hut doing the classic shot. I guess that since Nigel is allowed to cheat because he knows this place, I guess I'm allowed to cheat too and shoot one of the icons here. Have I got anything good yet? Mm, debatable, but it's good fun and it makes you think really difficult. You know, do I want to take lots of shots or try and get one shot really, really good? And I think I've gone for the sort of in between really, which might not be good. Anyway, let's get packing and go in and I've got a little bit of a woodland shot here I think I've seen so I'll take that okay I found a little bit of a woodland scene here um, which I'm shooting through the rain which might help a little bit but um, you can see that it's just in there, there's a little bit of a waterfall and it's throwing it down with rain now. Um, right, so I need to take it when it's raining a lot because I think it'll look a lot better when it's super rainy. I actually quite like this scene. I think the three oaks that are fairly dominant work quite well and the river in the background adds a little bit of mystery. But the greens were just too green. There was no separation between them and I feel like it just needed some atmosphere but more importantly, it would work so well probably two weeks later in autumn. The thing I'd also add is that in woodland photography, you need time to fine tune those compositions. And I took this literally in two minutes. Oh no, I'm gonna to have to head back. The light's getting good now and the clouds, but we've got to go because we've got to catch masses plane. Um, I don't think I've got anything good. It's been a bit of a failure. But it's been good fun. <laughs> oh, oh, there's a good shot there. Oh, that oak tree's nice. What time have I got? How long have I got? Half an hour to get back. Oh, one more shot, one more shot. There's probably a lot of wind noise here because it's a bit windy. Um, I put the microphone the other way around, but I've just got my final shot, which is this one here. Um, which I think looks okay. I've got that oak tree um, through the rain. And I've just gone in really tight to about there and you can see there we go there's a lot of rain so hopefully that should help the atmosphere spotted mass masses here it's down there look just behind me and the oh the light's coming on the mountain look oh no 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 nah, he's Nigel, that's cheating! My rainbow! <laughs> so I'm sabotaging Massey's shot here. There's a rainbow there. And um, I didn't see it at first. I'm just walking down here and suddenly I saw it. <laughs> I think Massey's probably got a better shot already. Ah! <laughs> He's next to me. I literally just talked to the camera and I'm like... <laughs> How's it going? Haven't, Nigel, haven't seen the rainbow. He's coming up here. You he haven't seen it. I'm getting it. <laughs> Have you got anything good yet? Uh, no. So the main question is, where's James gone? I'm massing Nigel. I find it hilarious that I'm using a tripod. Ready! I haven't seen him at all. So he's obviously not come to the lake 
and gone somewhere else. Hmm. Interesting. So obviously I've got to go a bit sooner than Mass because he's running everywhere. Um, but I've just come around here and he's just on the end there. He just looks so fantastic. I wish I could just get a little bit higher, but there's a really nice curve. This sort of dead oak trees look looking pretty good. Right, I'm just heading back to the car now. Not far. I've given myself a little bit of time because I knew there'd be some nice shots down this road. And I've just got this really nice sort of winding S-curve through here. I can exclude the sky pretty much as well. It looks so good. When you're taking a shot like this, make sure that your tripod is at the right height because obviously if you reduce or increase your tripod height, that's going to make a big difference. I'm gonna get this, go back, see what James has got. So this image has potential, but I think that the branches on the left hand side and particularly the branch that pokes into the road is really distracting. I don't know why I didn't see it. I even talked about it by moving the camera up and down to try and remove something like that. But I was in a rush and taking photos as quickly as possible and I'm quite a methodical photographer. I, I take my time and really think carefully about compositions and I have to admit that I found this challenge so difficult and I don't really think I got anything that was that spectacular. Oh, I can spot him, he's down there. <laughs> he's coming through. Yeah, here he comes. Oh, this is a good shot, I'm gonna get quiet, but I think we'll just take this sock off, glove off and put it there. We'll put it back in a minute. But I think this is a good shot, and we'll take it. <laughs> How's it gone? You've run a bit. That's the best light. I know. <laughs> At the end of the challenge. Oh my word, we're in the wrong place. <laughs> so he's got ahead of me. This is so hard, running all that. The light over there is incredible. <laughs> oh dear. This year, this is definitely the hardest YouTube video I've ever made. <laughs> yeah. Period. <laughs> Just in time, just in time. I literally oh. made it on the minute. Oh. <laughs> How was that? Oh, it's fun. I didn't make it to the lake. Did you? <laughs> yeah, we found a lake. In the lake district. <laughs> <gasps> oh my word, that was hard. I just, having time it makes such a big difference to a challenge. <laughs> Especially yeah. when you're doing a video as well. Yes. <laughs> or three videos. So, um, I don't know if I got anything. I'd like to see what you got though. Let's get some. Minimalist oh stuff. my word. So oh, that's got the light change then, didn't it? Yeah, that's pretty exactly. good. And yeah, push. just a whole lot of like, you know. Basically mass oh, spammed. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> long, Shoot long, everywhere. Long stuff. Oh, that's nice. There's the rainbow. Yeah, yeah the rainbow. Yeah. Did you get the rainbow? Very nice. I didn't get the rainbow, no. I, I didn't <laughs> get a vista of any sort. Because I went up to a waterfall that's covered in trees. All oh, right. Quite nice. What? Oh, wow. Oh, look at that hut. It's, uh, yeah. Oh, that's amazing. Very pretty hut. <laughs> um, and I, I spent some time at the church as well. It's going to be so amazing to see all these videos and see what we all got. Oh, little church and gardens. Oh, that's incredible. Just yeah. like from one spot. So make sure you check out Mass's and James's video. <laughs> Hopefully they'll have recovered and um, we'll have got them all out at the same time. I'll put them in a link below. You'll see them here somewhere. Thanks ever so much for watching. Until next Sunday. Bye.